In this video, we are going to discuss about list widget in Qt. So with the help of list widget, you can add, I mean you can insert, delete, clear certain item in your list. So this is one of the important function which is used to run a function continuously for a number of times. So let us see how to work on list widget. First create a Qt widget application. So this is a sample Qt widget application. Now I'm going to create a list widget. Go to form, select list widget, drag list widget into GUI. So this is how the list widget look like. Create multiple copies of list widget. Here I'm going to create three list widget application. So we will see a different process on each list widget. So here we have three list widget, list widget, list widget 2, list widget 3. Next, I'm going to create a push button. Make it as add. Create multiple copies of push button. So I'm going to do some addition. So whenever you push or whenever you click the push button, something will be added to the list widget. In list widget 2, I am going to place line edit. So there are two line edit, one for list widget 2 and another one for list widget 3. Now you create a run the program, you will get a window like this. Now I am going to add some program inside the button so that that particular function will be executed. Go to main window. Select add button. Go to slot. Click. You will get a push button function. Inside that I am going to write a for loop to create a number between 0 to 9. So whenever you click push button 1, I mean add button, the number 0 to 9 will be displayed in list widget using this for loop. To display a number from 0 to 1, there should be a command. This is nothing but UI list widget add item Q string to number. So inside the add item, the content will be a character. So you have to convert that character string into number. I am displaying i. i is a number, integer value. So we have to convert that integer to string to display inside the list widget. So now click on add button, the number 0 to 9 will be displayed in the main window. So this is how you can create a list widget for a simple application. Next click on line edit, select text changed. Now whatever you type inside that particular argument that will be appear in line edit. So now, number 1 is nothing but argument 1 float. So define float number 1 and number 2.
now number one is nothing but argument one now click on add button now i'm going to write a program in such a way that so the number that you have typed in line edit will appear inside list as item for that command ui list widget add item convert a number into string instead of i here i am using number one so number one is nothing but the value that i have typed in line edit see here i am typing 34 when you click on add button it will appear in list widget 2 so here this should be list widget 2 instead of list widget 1 now you run the program now type 34 click add that will appear in list widget 2 now type 23 that will appear again in list widget 2 so this is how you can write a program for second add button now i'm going to add one more button in list widget 3 that is clear so whenever you click the button clear the selected item the entire list widget will be clear select text changed in line edit to paste it as number two so the number two is nothing but an argument one we are already defined number two as float now click on clear paste this code ui list widget 3 add item instead of that add item we are making it as clear your list widget will be clear now you run the program okay click add the number will be displayed from 0 to 1 now type 34 it will be displayed in list widget 2 again type 45 that will be displayed in list widget 2 now type 23 it will be displayed click go to slot clicked here copy this code paste it here so here the number 2 will be added now run the program as usual list widget 1 2 will work in list widget 3 type 34 it will be displayed type 12 then when you press clear button the entire content will be clear 